Hey there, fishing enthusiasts. Welcome back to Fishing Advisors. Today, we're starting a two-part series that's essential for anyone stepping into the world of fishing, types of fishing hooks and how to use them. Choosing the right hook can make a big difference in the success of your catch, and we're here to break down the basics for you. In part one, we'll introduce you to the most popular types of hooks and how they're used. So, whether you're planning your first fishing trip or just brushing up on the basics, this is the perfect guy for you. Let's dive in. All right, so why all the fuss over different types of hooks? The truth is, picking the right hook isn't just about catching more fish, it's about respecting the sport and making sure we're treating fish humanely. Different hooks work better with certain bait and fish species, so learning these basics will help you hook your fish the right way, every time. First up, we have the J-hook, probably the most common and recognizable hook out there. This hook is called a J-hook because, well, it's shaped like the letter J. It's a fantastic all-rounder, perfect for beginners because it works with live and cut bait and is easy to use with a simple hook and reel method. To use a J-hook, you'll want to place your bait on the hook's shank and leave the hook's point exposed for a solid hookup. This hook is ideal for smaller fish species, but it's versatile enough to handle different situations. Next up is the circle hook. If you've ever worried about harming a fish or missing a bite, the circle hook is your friend. Unlike the J hook, this hook is designed to set itself in the corner of the fish's mouth, reducing injury and making catch and release much easier. To use this hook, all you have to do is apply steady pressure after the fish takes the bait, no hard hook setting is required. It's perfect for beginners who might not yet have the technique down. And that wraps up part one of our series on fishing hooks. We've covered some of the basic types today, but in part two, we'll explore a few specialized hooks and dive deeper into their uses. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. If you enjoyed this guide so far, give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments if you have a favorite hook type or fishing technique. See you in part two.